this boot camp takes you through several mathematical concepts and techniques that you need in order to do the introduction to statistics course. Sometimes your calculator displays something unexpectedly alien uh, with uh, maybe the letter E, a plus sign, a minus sign, and you're not really sure what to make of it. If you haven't seen this before, that's just scientific notation. It's a way to make a, um, a, a, num a number with many digits uh, more concise, and we'll see how that works. So don't worry about it. Don't panic. It's uh, quite normal. Scientific notation, as we'll see, can help us take a very, very large number and squash it into a uh, calculator display that wouldn't be able to hold it otherwise. So here we have an example where we take a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, big number, multiply it by 99 to make it an even bigger number. And what does the calculator tell you? 1.2222211. E plus 10, okay, scientific notation. Uh, the calculator in the image over there doesn't even use the word, uh, the, the letter E, so uh, you might be even more confused. Different, different calculators and different apps uh, will give you different displays uh, for scientific notation. Um, but basically what we're, what we're told to do here with the plus 10 is go to the right 10 spaces, okay, 10 decimal digits over to the right. So um, the number starts out 1.2. We move the decimal point over and over again and over again to the right 10 times. And we end up with an answer like um, 1, 2, um, 12 billion, 222 million, 110. Of course, that's not exactly accurate either, but it's close. Um, because of the uh, constraints of the size of the display, uh, we didn't have enough digits uh, telling us uh, what that the end of the number is, 110. It's really 111. Um, but it's close enough, and uh, if we needed to, uh, we could keep the answer in our calculator or in the computer and manipulate it further. Uh, in order to get a more accurate result altogether. That's if this is an intermediate result. Uh, but the whole point here is just to tell you, don't worry, scientific notation is easy to figure out. Let's see how scientific notation helps us with a very, very tiny number. Uh, we've got uh, 0.03 raised to the power of 5. So that's 0 0.03 multiplied by itself five times. And the calculator output, as you see here, is 2.43 E negative 8. So that's scientific notation. We know that because of the E. But even if the E is not there, we'd be able to figure it out. And minus 8 means that it's a very tiny number. We're going to move the decimal point over to the left, not to the right. The minus sign tells us we're going to move to the left eight spaces. And we end up with, let's see if we can figure this one out, uh, 0 0.00000243. That's the, the, the number, the actual number. Um, but it's expressed more concisely with scientific notation. How do we read scientific notation if we need to read it out loud? Well, E means times 10 raised to the power of. That's what the E means there. It's not the, uh, it's not the word exponent. It's not the base of natural logarithms. It's just a way of expressing um, scientific notation. Um, and so this one would be 2.43 times 10 raised to the power of negative 8. We'll see more about that later. Oh, more examples. 999-888-7776. That's a large number. But then we're making it even bigger by multiplying it by 88. That extremely large result would be expressed in scientific notation 
by 8.79902.1243 E11 or plus 11. And again, since it's so many digits and there was really no room for it in the calculator, um, it's there's rounding. Uh, the, a, uh, a computer uh, would probably be a better idea here. Uh, the second example, we have 0.34 raised to the power of 9. And uh, that's a very a small number. Uh, we end up with 6.071699277 e to the negative 5. So it's times 10 to the minus 5. And it's a minus sign, so you move the decimal place 5 decimal point five places to the left, and uh, you end up with point zero 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 six oh seven, etc. Um, and because of the way things are displayed and because uh, every calculator and every application has a different amount of um, spaces formatted, uh, it's going to look different in different calculators and in different ways. Um, and sometimes there will be rounding. Uh, the third example, very quickly, we're going to look at it again. What does it mean? If we see 2.187 and then minus 11, or as you see on the display on the calculator in the image, 2.187... Uh, e negative 11. That means it's going to be a very, very tiny number because we're going to move the decimal point to the left 11 spaces. Remember, don't get confused between scientific notation uh, and exponents. Um, exponents uh, can uh, be on any uh, number and it can also be on uh, E, the base of natural logarithms. And uh, scientific notation um, is always multiplied by 10, and it's powers of 10. The exponent is, uh, is uh, illustrating powers of 10. Uh, even if it says E, E is just to indicate that we're using scientific notation to collapse a very large or a very small number. The previous example from the previous slide, you see the uh, a calculator image there. Um, 2.187 e negative 11. Uh, that's the same as it could be displayed as just negative 11 without the e. Um, and it's the same as saying 2.187 times 10 to the power of negative 11. And we get 0. 0.000, 000 oh, a lot of zeros, and then 2187. Um, on the other hand, take a look at the two examples following. If we say 3 um, e minus 2, or 3 scientific notation minus 2, what we mean is 3 times 10 raised to a power of minus 2, which is 0 0.03. Move the decimal point to the left two places. What we don't mean is that the negative 2 is an exponent on the 3, which would be the uh, equivalent to or equal to um, 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9, which is 0. 0.111. Okay, so not the same. To find more boot camp modules, uh, visit the STAT course at the URL you see there and um, go to the uh, navigation bar on the left, click Boot Camp, and you'll see all kinds of things that are uh, good to do prior to the statistics course. Uh, many of you have already done this before and maybe only need a refresher.